Hey guys, what is up? It's Duncan, and today I'm here with a video I think will help a lot of you guys out. I'm going to give you guys a quick tutorial on how to make winchboard themes. Um, I'm going to give you guys the basics, um, and I'm kind of going to show you how you can piece together parts of other themes. But the same basics will apply if you would like to make your own themes, although obviously the, it's going to be a little bit more complicated. But the basics are also still going to be there. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this one started. Okay, so the first step is that you're going to need to download some software that will allow you to SSH. Basically, what SSHing is, in a nutshell, is that you, it allows you to transfer files from your iPod or iPhone to your computer. You know, there are more purposes and all kinds of stuff, but for, this, for the purpose of this tutorial, that's all you need to know. So basically, you will need to download one of two programs. There are others, but these are the ones I recommend. Okay, so if you're using a Windows computer, you should download WinSCP. I will have links to both of these programs in the sidebar. Uh, WinSCP is a really a pretty solid uh, program. Just allows you to SSH, no frills, whatever. It's perfect. And if you're using a Mac, you will need to use CyberDuck. Um, I've used it. I've used both of these. They're both very simple. So, you know, they both work in general. I will be showing you guys WinSCP, but if you have a Mac and you're using CyberDuck, it should be pretty similar. So go ahead and install those, and then we'll go ahead to the next step. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead to just using the program. If you do not know how to SSH, it's not, I'm not going to give you guys the full tutorial. It's very simple. Once you l learn how to hook it up and everything, it's no big deal. Um, but if you, ha if you have problems with it, you know, go ahead and find some other tutorial. And uh, go ahead and skip this next part. Okay. And you will need to have your iPod or iPhone hooked up on everything and logged in. Okay. So when you log in, you will be in the root file. Okay. So you see library and media on the right. Ignore the left. That's just your files. This is what you're looking at on your remote device, which in this case is your iPhone or iPod. So basically you see library and media. And you'll also see this one. Double click it to go back. Now you'll be in this file and you'll see all these. Now I will note that SSHing can kind of get a little uh, intimidating for people, but really, yeah, I mean, you know, you are in the main files, but you're not, I mean, unless you start grabbing stuff and deleting it, <laughs> you should be okay. So anyway, so you go down almost to the end and hit stash, the stash folder right here. Go ahead and go into that, and you'll see a bunch more. Go into themes, okay? So go into slash. So basically, you back out when you first open it. You back out to the var file, then you go into the stash file, and then you go into themes. And once you're here, you can pretty much breathe easy. You're 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 pretty much there. Now you will see all of your winterboard themes. All of them are going to be uh, in this file. Now. Basically, what you do is you can go through and get whatever you want. So let's say, well, for the purpose of this, I'm not going to go ahead and do it, but I'll show you guys how to do it because it does take a little bit. So basically, let's say I want glass clart. So you click it, and then you can drag it over, or you can drag it onto your desktop or whatever. Um, I've already done it because it does take a little while. So I've grabbed two themes, glass clart and illumine. So let's go ahead and go to the next step and show you guys how to edit once you do have the themes on your computer. Okay. So now once you're at wherever it is that you put the two theme folders, in my case it's on the desktop, but whatever is most convenient to you, next you're going to want to go ahead and edit these themes. Now once you edit them, it's, it's pretty simple. Um, it does get pretty complicated, and uh, I don't have the time to go through each and every what each and every uh, little icon and everything, what, what, what it all means. Um, you know, it really is going to come down to a lot of trial and error. I mean, you know... Download. I mean, it's really it's it's kind of fun to you know just download lots of different themes and you know go look and see the customizations they made and, and scroll through the files and see what the names are and all that kind of stuff. But I'm just going to show you guys some simple things. So let's say we can go ahead and make our own theme. It's going to be really simple. So let's go ahead and just make a new folder. It can be named whatever you want. So just go into new and folder. And obviously, if you have a Mac, you should know how to do this too. And let's name it uh, test. Does not matter. Just name it whatever you want. That is going to be the name of the theme. Okay. So now, assuming obviously I have glass clart and illumine, um, you know you can use whatever you want. You can make your own, but I'm just going. To, this is just kind of show you the basics. Okay. So let's go ahead and open up glass clart. Okay. So you can see that there are a few. 
Uh, there's a few things. There's like bundles, folders, icons, and then there are a couple of others. But I've, unfortunately, I've already gotten into this. But you will see sometimes, depending on the theme, like a thing that says dock or uh, background and, and different things like that. But, uh, you know, the main thing that Glass Clard is about is icons. So let's go ahead and open up the icons folder. In the icons folder, you will see all of the icons. And you can see that there are 2,500 icons in Glass Clard. So you know what? Let's say, you know what? I like Glass Clard icons. But, you know, I don't like them all. I like this one, for example. So what we do is let's go ahead and open up test folder. Okay. Now we will need to create folders inside this. But long it's just pretty simple so to make an icon to have a custom icon in your test which is your new theme you right click it go ahead and just make a new folder and I'll say that you're definitely gonna be making a lots of folders and stuff okay now you need to do it specifically uppercase I then C O N S that's icons so whatever uh, icons you put in here will be the icons that will show up so let's say we like the one password so let's pick it up and drag it into icons now we open it up you'll see that this icon is going to be in the theme now obviously if you want you can copy the entire glass clart over you can mix and match you can make your own icons it really doesn't matter um, one thing though is that if you do want to customize one thing that you definitely need to notice is be wary of the size so if we open this up it's going to be 59 by 62 um, now you can edit the sizes a little bit but you have to be careful when you get into uh, so sometimes if you change the size of something it can kind of mess stuff up so you know do a little experimentation and kind of you know be mindful okay. of what you're doing so Illumine obviously you can see here has a lot more okay you can see wallpaper and everything like that um, now basically a wallpaper is going to be your basically what it is behind the uh, behind all of your icons on your springboard so you know I like this one so let's go ahead and go over to the test and as you can see here if you pay attention to the hierarchy you see that in the very first thing in the Illumine you see all of the stuff so if you see wallpaper here you can drag it over to wallpaper on your other it's just kind of a general sort of thing so we like this wallpaper so we're gonna move it over to our new one um, now dock this is going to be the dock at the bottom um, sometimes you might want to have a transparent dock sometimes you might not in this case we like this dock so we're gonna go ahead and drag it over here okay um, there's lots more uh, I won't even try to get into the bundles and everything like that but basically this is kind of the basics you can mix and match for this I recommend just if you don't know what you're doing at first just mix and match icons and like wallpapers and like we can go ahead and grab status bars and docks and that sort of thing you can go into the more in-depth like the bundles and everything at a later date or you can do it right now if you want but you know it takes a while and you might not understand exactly how everything goes so you know just experiment around but for this we're just going to use this so now let's go ahead and go to the next step okay so now we're assuming that we're done for right now with the theme. So now let's go ahead and put it on the device. Okay, so it's very simple. Go ahead and open up WinSCP or CyberDub and do the exact same thing we did before. Back out of root, go down, open up stash, then open up themes. Okay, now go ahead and you can drag and drop, but I happen to have it just right here on my desktop. So go ahead and grab test, drag it in here. Now you got to be sure that you don't accidentally, you know, put it inside one of these. So let's go ahead and just drop it right here. And okay, so we're gonna copy it. Go ahead and copy. Let's go ahead and give it just a moment. And there we go. So if we scroll down here a little bit, we should see test. Okay. So now if you we can go ahead and open it up and look at it, you see that your icon, your dock, and your wallpaper are there. Obviously anything else that you put in there. Okay. So now let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like on the device. Okay. So once you've SSH'd the, your, theme, your brand new theme onto your device and you have selected it through either Winterboard or WB app and respringed and you're all done, then you will have the theme. You see here, this is not that nice of a theme. I mean, it's, it's uh, I do still have all the, everything else I had on it. But, you know, it's basically pretty solid. I mean, you can see that obviously the background is there. Um, and the dock is there and if I would have picked more icons obviously you would see the icons would have changed but yeah guys so that's pretty much how to uh, change and do everything in a nutshell um, you know there's lots and lots more but just to get yourself started that's that's this is a pretty easy way you can customize themes and uh, another way you can do it 
uh, that I didn't quite show in the video was you can customize pre-existing themes. So what I showed was like taking bits and pieces from two themes, in this case Glass Clart and Illumine. But if you wanted to, you could take Glass Clart or whatever theme and just like add pieces to it. So you already have a base theme with all the UI elements and just add more like add icons or do whatever you want. Really it's all about customization, that's what Winterboard is all about. So you know just go and have fun with it. Um, uh, if, I don't know, I might do some more tutorials on some of the more in-depth stuff, but once you get this, really just experiment, just look at each, find different themes and look at the different files and say, oh, I think that does this. Change them, make your own custom, I mean, just, just go for it. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Anyway, guys, so that's it. Uh, just a video tutorial. Wanting to show you guys how to th uh, make custom winterboard themes. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.